this is terrible just terrible this is like my seventh take on this this is my new phone so hopefully it's recording better although i've noticed that it's also showing my age so like that's not good um there's no <clears throat> not filtering my camera so you can see the age on my face unfortunately um what are you gonna do i'm 34 years old <laughs> so anyway um uh, <clears throat> i haven't made a youtube video in quite some time um Anyone who follows me on Twitter or on Facebook kind of sees what goes on in my life a little bit, not really too much. I don't, I haven't really been posting that much, but uh, shout out to Daniel O'Brien for retweeting my uh, tweet to him last year about <clears throat> losing over 100 pounds at that point. It was, um, I believe, October of 2018 he shared my, or he retweeted me. Um, so... As if, if you've watched any of my previous videos, the not singing ones, the, the vlogs essentially, um, I had been trying to lose weight for a long period of time. Um, like I said, I'm 34 years old and I've gone through a lot of hard times trying to, to lose the weight and, you know, keep it off rather than lose weight and then gain back two pounds for every pound that I lost, which is basically where I was in a cycle of lose 10 pounds, gain 20 pounds, lose 10 pounds, gain 20 pounds. <clears throat> when I was a, I hit puberty very young. I was nine when I hit puberty. And by the time I was 18, I was almost 200 pounds. Um, at the age of 15, I was like 175. Um, I was going close to the same size as my mother. So, uh, you know, that was humiliating. And my teenage years, my mother spent calling me, telling me I looked like a sausage in the clothes that I liked. So I was very self-conscious about everything that I wore and everything I put on. I essentially asked myself, well, what is my mom gonna say about this? Not, I didn't even care about my friends or people at school or boys or whatever. It was always, it always came down to what my mother's gonna say to me. <clears throat> so what I did was, well, let's jump back a little bit before I get into current. Um, <clears throat> back in 2009, I was, I had to have gallbladder surgery. I was working, I worked for Kohl's for a very short period of time and I ended up, I was very sick then. And I ended up passing out in their bathroom. Um, I was throwing up constantly and having excruciating abdominal pain. I was taken to the hospital by ambulance and I was admitted for five days. I ended up actually losing my job because I couldn't come in. Even though they saw me leave by ambulance, it never really made sense to me, but regardless. Um, <clears throat> so when, around the same time, I started seeing another new doctor and he found my thyroid problem, which your thyroid, for anyone who doesn't know, you're reading, your TSH is supposed to be between 0.4 and 4. My TSH was 57 at that time. And my appointment was at noon, at 8 a.m. rather. He calls me at noon and tells me, call your primary immediately. You need to get on meds right now. Um, and I didn't think it was that serious. He, he said that, well, I've never seen anybody with a number this high who's still functioning. And I was like, well, I'm not, though. I can't get out of bed. I'm... My scale only goes up to 360 pounds. And when I stand on it, it just, bam. Like, so I know that I'm heavy. I know I am. Like, I won't have pictures taken of myself above or below the neck. And I mean, I have some, obviously, but like, because at that time I was over 350 pounds on my 21st birthday. So, <clears throat> you know. Of course. So anyway, um, my primary doctor was a let's wait and see what happens kind of guy. Two and a half weeks later, my TSH had, had jumped from 57 to 175. I should have died. I should be dead right now. I did not. So he put me on medication for the thyroid. This was in, I had my gallbladder out actually the same day Michael Jackson and Farrah Fawcett died. So July of 2009, um, or June, one of the two, anyway, the J of 2009 in the summer. Uh, so I had my gallbladder out, and they put me on the medication for the thyroid, and in eight or nine months' time, I had gotten down from around 360 to 195 pounds, and I, it just, like, was 
nothing, nothing about my life changed. I didn't eat better. I didn't eat differently. I didn't exercise. Nothing that I wasn't already doing did I add into what I was doing. Like I still couldn't get out of bed. I still couldn't function until like towards the end of that. I was still having a hard time with everything. Moving, breathing. I had chronic bronchitis and pneumonia, which I found out later on was because of allergic to cats, but that's a whole nother, the whole nother story. Let's not get into that. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I have my gallbladder out, I have all the medication. So I'm yo-yoing. I, I gained back weight. And by the time I got pregnant with my son in February of 2011, I had gained back enough weight that I was 250 pounds when I got pregnant. So my doctor told me, don't gain any weight. And I was like, well, okay, don't know how I'm supposed to do that, but whatever. If I'm on the maximum daily dose of levothyroxine, which is 300 micrograms every day, I've been taking it for years, nothing. Just keep yo-yoing, yo-yoing, yo-yoing. So, <clears throat> I, in my first trimester, I lost 27 pounds. Don't know why, but, um, by the time I gave birth, I actually gained back every pound except one so that when I gave birth, I was actually a pound lighter than when I got pregnant with my son, which was very, very weird. So anyway, I had him November of 2011 and then I ended up <clears throat> having an ectopic pregnancy in October of 12 and August of 2013. So I ended up losing my fertility completely. Um, but other than that, I kept, Yo-yoing, I had problems with sleep. I've had problems with depression and bipolar disorder and anxiety and everything just crashing down on me. And I could not, as my son started to get older and he started running around and he wanted to do this and he wanted to do that. And I couldn't just spend my life saying, no, honey, I can't, I can't go outside. Mommy's tired, mommy's knees hurt, mommy's back hurts, mommy's, you know, mommy's in pain constantly. Mommy can't breathe. I decided that was enough. No one would help me and nothing was working. So in, well, May of 2017, my uncle's girlfriend had gastric sleeve surgery. She was about the same weight as me at the time. She was about 280 pounds when she had hers. So she had hers done and she, I asked her about the process. I had never personally known anyone who had it done, but I had been debating it for about a decade, which my doctor told me it was a good thing I didn't have it 10 years before I did because they basically filleted you like a fish at that point. So I, I went in for my first seminar, February of 18. From the day of my first seminar, which was February 5th, 2018, until the day I had my surgery was exactly four months. My first MIR was February 5th, 2018. My surgery was June 5th, 2018. Other than the, I went to the dietitian and I, I found, I already knew I was lactose intolerant. So the, nothing, nothing really changes, you know, but I gotta have my ice cream sometimes. Um, I found out that somewhere around 90% of people with my condition, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune disease that I have <clears throat> caused by my thyroid. About 90% of people who have that also have celiac disease, which I didn't know and I was never tested for from the VA. They also didn't, weren't the ones who found my, my thyroid, even though I had been going there for years. And then, so I had my surgery June. I started working again in August of 18. And by the time October came around, I had lost a, I, well, okay, let me back up just a, just a smidge. When I started the process, I was 282 pounds in February. I had to go on a diet for two weeks prior to the surgery, but I ended up gaining a little bit of weight back just before my surgery, so I was 278 pounds. I had lost over 100 pounds by October of that year. Um, by a year out, which was last, well, yeah, approximately, let's say last June, I was 130 pounds. 
I'm currently yo-yo, I'm okay with yo-yoing now. I'm currently yo-yoing between 120 and 130 pounds. I am 5'2". <clears throat> I can breathe. I can walk. I can walk upstairs. I can run. I can lift my son, sort of. He's kind of heavy now, but he'll you know, be nine in November. He's starting to weigh as much as I do. Um, we can fit in a chair together. I can fit on roller coasters. I can fit on rides at the, the things that I couldn't fit on since I was a teenager. I wear a size six. Do you know how long it's been since I wore a size six? I mean, like literally, um, I have not been that small since I was nine, maybe, because I'm in a, an 11 in juniors. And I don't think I've been in a junior size clothes since I was nine, 10, somewhere in there. Like I'm tw like 25 years, yeah, about that. But I'm doing better. <clears throat> I'm planning on making a few more videos, uh, but I just, I didn't want to jump back in and be like, hey guys, here I am. I don't look like, which I get that a lot, honestly. I've had people come to my house and talk to my husband or have one of my friends bring another friend over and they're like, who's that? Like, no, that's Ange. They're like, no, it's not. Like, yeah, it is. To in total, I've lost a little over 230 pounds. So I'm literally a third of the person that I was and I i couldn't be happier about how I look and feel but I mean I still have things goals I want to reach of course I want to tone my arms my legs my stomach things like that and I'm trying to get healthy as well it's not just about the weight loss it's it's about being able to do the things that I want to do and, and get up in the morning be able to sleep at night and wake up in the morning and be like hey you know I slept really well or you know, only sleep six or seven hours and be like, hey, I've got a full night's sleep. Not sleep 18 hours and be like, oh God, I'm exhausted, I need to go back to bed. No one should live like that. And if you do, I'm sorry because I know we, I know what it's like. I've been there. And if you need help, you need to get it. If you need, if you can't lose weight and you need help losing weight, there is no shame in that game. I was ashamed for years to ask for help with my weight. And now my only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. So thank you for listening to my rambling story. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments and I will upload something else soon. Um, I will, I'm going to go outside and, and smoke my cigarette and please don't yell at me for smoking. That's my only vice right now, I'm not eating sugar <laughs> or chocolate and it's terrible or drinking coffee, so, <clears throat> and I'm working on it. So thank you guys. Have a great day.